Yo, welcome back to another video on the channel of the hashtag 2 Road to Glory of the Aston Villa career mode. So we saw last video we beat Tottenham Hotspur 2-0. Brilliant result that was. Absolutely brilliant. We're going to be going through two games today. And as I said last episode, we'll be signing a right mid. And I said I shortlisted some. So transfer hub. I've seen it. Kubu and Rafina. Rafina is currently at Leeds United in FIFA 21, as this is only FIFA 20 for the people who is um, for the people who is only on FIFA 20 at the moment and are bored, so want to watch some FIFA 20 content maybe. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and there will be a poll at the end of this, just in the comments though. So be sure to take part in that, and let's get straight underway. Right, so. I've decided, I did scout this guy off uh, off uh, record, so I think Kubu, we, I did scout both of them, we're going to see, look at their stats, but straight away we're going to go in straight into a game, kept the same formation, Neves also going up to an 81 rated, Grealish going up to the 81, Samata and McGinn and Nakamba, Nakamba being a very good uh, CDM last game. Right, so let's go straight into the first game. First home game of the season, and it's going to be against Bournemouth. See, it's on legendary four minutes per half and that. So, might be a decent game. Expecting to come out with a win in this game, but you never really know. I also think that... Um, that Grealish should be on the ball. Get Grealish on the ball, then we'll uh, do really good. Also, guys, I don't know if I've already said, but this series will be going up to Christmas. So this will be a Road to Glory career mode with Aston Villa. Uh, Villa, sorry. Obviously, up to Christmas. And then it will be a FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. As I'm obviously highly rated FIFA player. High in foot champs as well. Normally around gold one. So there will be a Road to Glory there on the channel. So be sure, uh, be sh uh, sure to tune into that. But at the moment our main focus is on the career mode in FIFA 20. So it's the first home game and it's underway. So it's out to Gilbert. Samata. I'm going for more possession style because last game in first half, Tottenham did kind of batter us. Then we just got a decent goal. I guess it helps with our kickoff as well. Gilbert. Coming inside to Ruben Neves. Let's target to Grealish. Back to Neves. McGinn turns. Looks to be fouled there. Referee hasn't gave. Agazi wins it. Wins it back for Villa. Here comes Nakamba. Got self an attack. Grealish get there? No. Also, with ideas of the January transfer window coming up soon, leave a comment on who who you think I should sign. On Stanley's puts Bournemouth one nil up. Yeah. Anyway, guys. If um if you have any suggestions, just drop in the comments what I should um who I should buy for the January transfer market. But here we are, a game to chase. Bournemouth take the lead. <laughs> Haven't really had a clear cut chance yet, but here comes our Garzi to try and change that. Garzi cuts in. Fake shots on Ake, but Ake's not having any of that. Should be Pepe Reynas. It is so. Villa just need to create a chance here. Oh, 
McGinn. McGinn's driving with it. Into our Garzy. It could be dangerous. Back to McGinn. McGinn could drive into space. Across goal, McGinn hits it. And it's a good save from Boric. Target. Whips the ball in. It's a good header from Angles, but a good save from Boric. We need to get Grealish on the ball, as I've said many times. He's our main player in this series. Be more focused around Grealish. I've got a player in mind who could uh, be alongside him in midfield in the future. And Somata couldn't turn. See there, we have dominated possession in this game. Score a Stanless, hits it out of play. Here's McGinn. McGinn could be in. McGinn is in. Can McGinn finish? Yes, he can. John McGinn gets Aston Villa level at... At 35 minutes, John McGinn levels Aston Villa. Great run from McGinn and a great layoff for him. McGinn's been playing very well in these few games, first few games of the season. Oh, Neves there gets nutmegged, I'm pretty sure. But the camera comes away with it. El Ghazi. Samata. Samata turns. Oh, it's a great touch from Al Ghazi. Back to Al Ghazi. This is really good football. John McGinn again. McGinn on his right foot. Couldn't do much there though. It's a header won by Nakamba. Here comes Ruben Neves. They're isolating Jack Grealish from this game on that wing. But here he is now. It's pressure straight away, Jack Grealish is. Couldn't do anything with it there, though. And it just goes half time, 1 1. A fair half, to be honest. Aston Villa with most of the possession, though. Ake been very solid for them. We're going to see a change, though. We're going to go into the formation we did last time is this with Grealish going into that cam spot getting more into the game Nakamba obviously going to come off for Trezeguet to give us that extra pace as well so let's see if we can see more of Jack Grealish in the second half so he's pushed higher up well not higher up but in a better position no game been playing very well this game can't afford to concede here though. Oh gosh, he puts a challenge in. Could come away with it. And here is Grealish on the ball now. Could create something. Driving with it. Driving into space. Plays it off to target. Gets it back from target. Here is Grealish. Being pressured. Lays it off to Treasure Gay. McGinn, Samata, turns, good save from Burridge, but on the rebound, it is El Ghazi who finishes it off, it's 2-1 to Aston Villa. El Ghazi finishes it off. It's a good attack there, all coming from Grealish at the start. As we know, he's very dangerous in that camp position and think that could be the formation for the rest of the season. Target drawn a bit out of position. Trezeguet back, that's offside surely, and Josh King is caught offside. Arena plays it to means Into angles. Grealish put under pressure, plays it. Now Target's coming out here. Target cuts inside. 
loses it to Antonio. Trezor gets recovered though, and a back heel to Neves. Here is Grealish. Not much space to play it. Neves switches the play. Great switch of play from Ruben Neves. Neves is getting higher up. Neves is intercepted. It's poor from Neves there though. Good switch, but then loses out the ball. Neves determined to win it back, but Antonio's probably got the pace on him. He does. There's someone arriving at the back post. Antonio doesn't, and Neves, great recovering from his team, and wins the ball back. Here's Grealish. Grealish put under pressure by Lerma, loses his out. Here's Antonio, trying to turn. Doesn't. Mings has been brought outside. Grealish getting back. It's a poor challenge, and Antonio is brought down in the box. Was was a penalty there? Poor challenge. Shh. Totally my bad. But saved by Pepe Reina. Ultimate save from the penalty kick. It's a brilliant save as the ball was go flying into the right side of the net. What a brilliant save from Pepe Reina. Samata heads away. Samata trying to get his team out. Target intercepts. Here comes Trezeguet. Didn't see that player there. And he ran right into him. Camera angle didn't change. So couldn't see there. And it's played over the top to Antonio. Dangerous. Intercepted by target. Offside, surely. It was great ball in. Probably lucky it was offside. Villa just dropping off now towards this end of the second half. Here's target. Grealish being isolated in this game so much, but here he is on the ball. Great touch away from the defender. Grealish. Lays off Trezeguet. Grealish could find himself in a position here. Grealish! It's tackled. Neves couldn't do anything. Target has to get back. Intercepts. Played back by Bournemouth. Here's McTominay. Must have signed him from Manchester United. Ming swings. Gets it. Here's Trezeguet. Trezeguet could get an attack off here. He's using his pace. McTominay slides. It's fouled by McTominay. Could be dangerous. It's not a ball in. Not a bad ball in, sorry. Surely that's it for this game. It is. Aston Villa take the win at home. First home game of the season. Aston Villa win by two goals to one. Hard game there. Antonio was right on form for Bournemouth. It's unlucky. It's a fair game. McGinn obviously playing very well in that first half. And then all Villa seemed to drop off a bit in the second half. But still come out with the win. So Brighton drew 1-1 one -one with West Ham. Yeah... Uh, was the win ever in doubt well it wasn't really in doubt so yeah we were the stronger side wasn't easy at all no so morale does go up and we can now train our players so Grealish going up again he's going to be a very good strong player when he gets to that high rating nobody's going to be able to get near him um, Ojan Nyland is um, loaned out. So we do take on Everton in this next game. Oh yeah, and also another thing that we should be 
going towards to do is by getting a scout for our youth academy. Not sure if we would do this in this season yet, but so we do have that starting lineup, which is going to change. So we're going to play. We're going to play this formation. Sorry, the four four one one. Grealish playing in the cam, McGinn dropping in for the camber, and obviously Treasure Gay going out wide. Also see um, Danny, uh, Danny Drinkwater, sorry, make it on the bench for Louise. Another home game, take on Everton. I mean, I don't, I'm not feeling confident that Everton have got a very solid team. Very, very solid team at the moment. And if you have been watching any of the 20-21 season, Calvert-Lewin has been on fire for Everton, honestly. James Rodriguez, currently injured, I think. But still, very good, very good team, Everton, very good team. Here we are at home, home pitch, Villa Park. Aston Villa take on Everton in a night match. Hopefully they can get the win here. It's going to be a strong game though. Gilbert's going to have to cut back inside though. Not many angles into Neves. Ruben Neves. McGinn. Agassi. Grealish gets on the ball straight away. Out to El Ghazi. Ghazi wins a corner for Villa, for Villa early on. Ming's poor corner, really. Grealish comes out with the ball. Little shimmy there. Grealish shoots. And it's headed out. Grealish puts a good corner in. Oh, and Trezeguet on the volley. Here come Everton on the counter, though. This could be dangerous for Richarlison. Mings gets back. Good challenge from Tyro Mings. Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is in here. Could Jack Grealish get on the score sheet? Yes, he can. Sure, he can. Jack Grealish making an impact for Aston Villa. He is a Villa boy through and through and gets his first goal of the season. Jack Grealish sending Villa fans absolutely wild. Great run, great finish into the bottom left corner. Villa take the lead in just inside 40 minutes against Everton. Grealish. Sees El Ghazi. El Ghazi makes another run. Could be a nice one too. Digne on a cover though. Very good defending from him. McGinn into Grealish. Neves looking for options. Sees Trezeguet on the inside. Trezeguet turning. Right foot is curled. It's not a bad effort from him. Curling to the right far corner. It's a great effort. Just wide though. Very close. Pickford to boot it up. Agassi to win it. Samata wins it. Samati's leashed away. Turns. Samata! Greedy shot, but not far away. It's a good effort from Samata. If the right foot of his aiming for the right uh, corner of the net. Here is Everton on the attack. Good defender from Gilbert though. McGinn loses it in the middle of the pot to Sigurdsson though. This could be dangerous for Villa. 
out and haven't been much of a threat, but it could be here. Gilbert with another great challenge. And McGinn comes away with it now. Still driving with it. Let's Gilbert on his bike. Gilbert with a great ball. Samata's there! It's another headed goal from Samata in this. Goes right, so sorry that this, um, and this that was like a, a really long video. But it's got a lot towards the end. And towards the end, I don't actually sign a player. But next episode Pickford. will be very big to do wow, with transfer wow, marketing. really good in the air. What a player in the air. Absolute mental scenes for the Villa fans here. What a start to the season. Everton not coming out very strong in this game. As Aston Villa have been absolutely battering them. They haven't been really much of a problem. Gilbert again winning. Ruben Neves. Man on him. Grealish with a poor touch. Wins it back though. McGinn. Poor pass. He turned Richarlison inside out. Grealish wins it back for his team. Cuts inside. Sigerson was there though. Left a space open here. Ming's defending. And it's passed to target. Here's Jack Grealish. Poor touch. Grealish could win it back though. On that lap raquette, a poor last touch which didn't set him away. As we see, Jack Grealish will be a lot better when he's the higher ratings. He's will love that agility. Grealish can turn. Does so and plays Neves. Here's Ruben Neves, dangerous player. Could send Jack Grealish. That's a great sliding challenge, but Pickford can't pick it up. Does play it to Michael Keane, and that should be it for the first half. So it is. So Aston Villa go up 2-0 into the half-time break. 15 minutes breaks for the players in the FIFA minutes, obviously. It's a good half, very good half see if Everton have anything to come back with here's Moise Keane didn't you that's Moise Keane Sigerson be an effort it's blocked by Mings and here comes Jack Grealish set them off for an attack Grealish still Jack Grealish Nakamba not Nakamba sorry Samata always get mixed up between them two so just ignore me if I do say Nakamba because I know you guys will know that it's not him Pepe Reina called to come out does so into McGinn McGinn. Here's Grealish. Grealish is set away. Ball rolls away. Roulette. Not got mu much space to do what he wants to do. Still going. Gets a ball in. It's good play from Grealish. Nobody there running front post though. Tyro Mings loses the header. It's fouled. Referee doesn't seem to think that's a foul though. Neves is tracking. Neves wins it. Over the top to Grealish with a chested pass. And some somehow Samata has completely messed that up. It's target though. Into Mings. Here's McGinn. And McGinn with another poor pass. Four passes going everywhere in this second half for Aston Villa. It's just lucky that Everton cannot punish us. And it's out wide to Digne. Of course, he's working back. Mings wins a header. Greenish can turn on it. Great little flick from Samata. Trezeguet. 
Samata could be away. First touch is good from Samata. Could he finish it? Samata hits the post and the rebounds. Samata puts it in for Aston Villa 3. Everton nil. It's a brilliant, brilliant attack from Aston Villa. Samata unlucky with the first attempt, but smashes it home with the rebounds. Lord, that was really, really powerful. Great game here from Aston Villa. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Toxic Riot as he's doing a FIFA 21 career mode road to glory right now at the same time. I'll drop his um, YouTube name in the description, so be sure to go and follow him or subscribe to him and like all of his videos, well, his latest ones as well. Grealish slides in, doesn't win it. Trezeguet running for it. Target can't get there. It's a great ball in. Gilbert's there. McGinn wins the header. Grealish turns. Got Richarlison on his back. Gonna have to play it to Samata. Samata's taking his time. Plays it back to McGinn. And McGinn switches all the way to Target. Target almost lets it go out of play. Nevers turns. Here's McGinn. Could Lee Nakamba away again. Samata, sorry. Getting them mixed up again. Here is Samata. Grealish with a really good turn. Grealish! Pickford is having to put a save in. Grealish with a dangerous ball. Minx is there. Here is Neves. Neves is allowed to turn. Neves... Hits it. McGinn couldn't get on the end. Still an attack here. If Grealish can get there, he cannot. And that is full time. No substitution made in this game, but they were able to hold on. 3 0 to Aston Villa against Everton in this game. Completely battered them this game. Everton were not up to this whatsoever. And 3 0 to Aston Villa. What a start to the season it has been. Manchester City battering Bournemouth. So we do have a post-match interview here. Let's see what they think. With two goals to secure the win, Samata was the hero today. Any thoughts about that? Well, we can't rely on individuals, but it was a very impressive performance from Samata. Spur... Give them full credit because they didn't give up, but it was easy. Uh, we could have won by more. Time to focus on our next match, really. I'm not going to brag about this or anything. It's an overall good game. So next next video, we're going to be going into the round two of the EFL Cup. That will be our next video. Possibly three games next video if we get to fit in uh, two to um, league games as well. Nakamba, he's been in pretty good form. I could agree, has been really. So now, this is the time to see the final scout reports. So Rafina is a solid 80 rated player, 22 years of age. And how much is Kubu? 72 rated, but very young player. Very good acceleration. Let's have a look at his finishing. Long shots, yeah, his finishing's not the best. So, we are going to go in to buy. Not Squad Hub, sorry. We're going to go to buy. What we're going to do is we're going to try and loan him, but no. None of them for loan, so we're going to doesn't want to negotiate so on loan at another club so now what we have to do is we have to find another right mid so right mid who I think will be a good fit for the club 
is obviously Rodrigo. As the last episode, we saw that uh, Rodrigo rejected us. Let's see if we could get him for a loan again. Is he? Yeah, he's under views again. So here we go. Maybe we're gonna have to put his split wages up again. Let's see what he says. So we're gonna have to see if we can get him for a two-year deal again. They are happy for that. So they want 60 to 40. We're going to accept it this time and see if we can get Rodrigo as an Aston Villa player. It'd be very good if we can build his development and then sign him in the next season or the next three seasons. So this game is going to be a sim. I said we would play it in the next episode, but we're just going to sim it. As we do pick up a 3-0 win, Engels and El Ghazi getting two of the goals. Great performance from the boys. So what's Nakamba saying? Shouldn't be blaming that on himself really. Rodrigo's move rejected again. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to sign someone in the January transfer market window for a right winger. So we can't rely on El Ghazi, as he just scored two, but not the best of players, is he really? So, I'm going to transfer some people in the next episode. Leave in the comment section down below who do you think I should get as my right winger. So, say, any, any right winger with good potential or around the age of 25. Leave in the comment section your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next episode tomorrow.